allegations tonight of financial irregularities at Douglas College in New Westminster, and they come out of a forensic audit ordered by the student union on itself. This man, Joey Hansen, is at the center of a financial controversy involving the Douglas College Student Union, where he is in charge of their finances. I've already filed a lawsuit related to some of the allegations, and basically I'm uh, not interested in trying this in the media. I can let the courts deal with that. A forensic review shows that the student union purchased this building in New Westminster for $1.2 million in 2005 without informing the general membership in advance and with funds coming from money designated for other purposes. The audit also found that Douglas College turned over about $850,000 to the student union for the health and dental plan in 2004. But the audit says it appears the union only used $343,000 for plan premiums. The remainder was used primarily for the building purchase and other purposes. We had been running a deficit for approximately two years at that point, which means there was definitely no extra cash to be able to buy a million dollar building. So how was everyone convinced to buy a million dollar plus building? We were told by our senior staff person, the finance and services coordinator, that our cash flow was fine. But the situation at the student union was dire, and the review revealed more problems. The auditors could not account for about $233,000 from the Performing Arts Fund. Because of the financial problems, students have been without many services for months, even though the student union was loaned hundreds of thousands of dollars by the Canadian Federation of Students, or CFS. It's unclear why the CFS loaned the money in the first place and the auditors couldn't find proper documentation or authorization. This man doesn't want to be identified but has knowledge of the inner workings of the Canadian Federation of Students and Student Unions. Student politicians are elected for one-year terms. However, throughout this entire process, there are staff that work for either the student unions or work for the Canadian Federation of Students that are full-time employees. And they are the only ones who see perhaps the big picture and are there year in and year out. And a lot of these staff members where there is a general disregard or perhaps it's a disrespect for the rights of the individual students that are paying these fees, which end up going into their coffers. Now in an almost unprecedented move, Douglas College is withholding all funds to the student union, about $1 million. Because we found out that uh, they had not been completing uh, independent financial audits and making those audits uh, available to the student body. But the problems don't end there. Joey Hansen, who is currently suing the SFU newspaper over a story regarding the audit and is contemplating other lawsuits, was specifically referred to in the review. The audit states about 20 checks, in addition to payroll checks, were issued to Hansen in the year ended August 2005. And as of July, he has not provided adequate documentation to support these expenditures. The original audit stated, we regard this as a serious breach of internal control. I signed checks written personally to Joey Hansen with the explanation that they were either payroll or for expenses at the office. He was unable to provide documentation for the expense checks, not the payroll checks. The auditors also found a $20,000 check payable to Krista Peters, Joey Hansen's partner. The loan was paid back, but according to the auditors, it was a blatant misuse of funds. Hey, can I ask you about a loan that was given to you by the Douglas uh, Student Union? Was it to buy this home? Well, I'm not prepared to comment at Why this Why would she be loaned money out of, of student union funds to buy a house? I'm just saying that the report contains inaccuracies, and then I'm going to let the courts deal with this at this time. Meantime, Douglas College is taking the student union to court to try to force it into receivership and the new Westminster police are investigating.